Yo, what's up guys? It's uh, How to E30. Here's another video. This one's going to be how to adjust your valves on your M20. It may be the same procedure for like an M42 or whatever, but um, this is a six cylinder, so I'm going to tell you the spec for the six cylinder cars. So let's get to it. Valve cover. All you need to do is remove this breather hose and all the, the nuts on your valve cover. There is, so that's eight nuts and one hose clamp. And you should be able to wiggle the, the valve cover off. All right, so once you have the valve cover off, now, Pretty simple, I'll demonstrate, I'll say on the intake one and two, because I just did all of mine. So, I'm actually gonna grab my old cam. Oh yeah, and one more thing, so, when you're doing your valve adjustment, you wanna make sure that the cylinder you're on looks like this, where the valve is the one you're on is all the way down. Honestly, you can find a happy medium where they're both smooth. All right, guys, here's a good way to explain what I'm saying to you about how you don't have to have the cam loop all the way down. And that is because the cam only works from like here to here. So all of this, all of this means it's pushing on a valve at some point, somewhere, even if it's absolutely minimal. But as long as you have it on anywhere on this side of the circle, it's going to be equidistant away from the rocker arm no matter what. So you could have your other cam. If they're both like this, something like this, as long as you know you would do it somewhere in this section, because then they would both be on that flat section where no rocker arms are touching them, they're just like rolling over them. And if you look at your cam, you can probably see that that part might not really be as shiny as the uh, the machine part that actually contacts the rocker arms, or this part, and this whole part. So people tell you you have to do it pointing exactly down, but it doesn't need to be exactly down because it's a circle. Your cam is just a circle with a a lobe on it so as long as you have both parts of the circle as long as you have a part where they both overlap anywhere from here to here which will be at TDC or near T basically TDC for that cylinder not for each cam lobe but TDC at that cylinder and both the cam lobes are facing down neither valve is being opened you're on compression you'll be alright so it'll save you a lot of time turning the crank because it's a pain in the ass if you have your radiator hoses in and all that stuff. So that's just a quick tip. It's up to you. Alright, so you're going to need a feeler gauge. Some people say that the exhaust is like smaller, bigger. Most people say it's 0.25 millimeters or 0 0.010 inches. I think you can see that good enough so yeah quarter of a millimeter I honestly bought a whole thing of feeler gauges and just pulled this one out and bent it like the real tool is if you want to get the real tool there's some tool I'm not sure exactly how it works but I guess it's a lot better so 0.25 millimeters for both sides and you're gonna need a 22 millimeter wrench for the crank pulley nut thing that's attached to the crank. <laughs> so this job's a lot easier without all this crap in the way, but it is now. So I'm gonna actually go on the other side and spin the crank from there. Meanwhile, looking at this cylinder one, see where the cam lobes are to make sure they're not under any load. And then we're gonna adjust the valve. So that's the crank, that's a 22. 
It's under your water pump. It's pretty easy to spot once you spot it. So I'm going to try to multitask hold the camera and turn it. If you can, you want to go clockwise. And I'm going to check here. It looks like the exhaust lobe is about to be under load. So I'm going to keep going past that. Okay. I got it so neither cam is under load. Or neither rocker is under load. So now you need a 10 millimeter wrench. 10 millimeter wrench, whether it's ratcheting or not. And you just loosen up your eccentric, which is this little nut. That's called, the, or I guess that's not the eccentric. The eccentric is this little hole, like right here. And the nuts over here. So you want to just loosen off that nut. You don't need to do it crazy loose, just loose enough so you can adjust it. And you need a little drift. I use a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. I just use a little Allen key like this that'll fit in that eccentric hole which again is this little piece right here and this this job goes a lot faster with two people too so you can have your friend or whoever tighten up the the nut when you're done so you can leave, you can leave your tool in there and then you're gonna use your feeler gauge put it right in between the rocker and the valve and then adjust this eccentric until you get that that feel where you know it's not too tight but it's not too loose or it feels good it's kind of an acquired touch that you'll learn over time so this feels pretty good to me I'm gonna hold my tool steady and tighten this If I can stop being a dingus. So this one still feel it feels a bit too loose, so I'm gonna loosen it again. Just when a second person comes in handy, because if you do it by yourself, you're gonna have to be doing this a lot where you have to readjust it. Feels just about right. Try to keep it in the same exact spot. And tighten it first. Put your wrench on it. Double check your work. And that feels absolutely perfect to me. I want to make sure the rocker's down. And that's how you adjust your valves. So you go around through the other cylinders, exhaust and intake. You gotta use your 22 millimeter wrench on the front. It's gonna take a while if you have a friend. It honestly is so much faster. If you have this coolant stuff out of there, so much faster. It's probably not worth taking your coolant out, but this is like, the, if you're doing your tiring belt or anything, it is the perfect time to do that. To do the valve adjustment so thank you for watching good luck make sure you follow the firing order and then you just loosen the nut on the right or the left depending on whether you're on intake or exhaust adjust the valve eccentric with the 0.25 millimeter feeler gauge maintain that adjustment and tighten the nut again and then obviously you're going to put your valve cover back on I gotta go to work, but thank you for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much, see you guys.